clear. If you guys are interested in being a member, then click the join button down below to check out the available perks. I believe the first tier is only $1. Thank you to those of you who choose to join. With that said, welcome to another Division 2 build breakdown video. So guys, there's some big changes coming to the summit in TU 11.1, changes that will allow us to choose the loot and difficulty we want to farm on, which means a lot of you guys are going to be farming a summit on legendary difficulty for god roll gear. This means I'll be making and posting a lot more legendary builds to help you guys get through that legendary content, whether that's solo or in a group. I will say before we get into this build that several of the builds I've already made are capable of dealing with the legendary difficulty in the summit. For those of you who are interested in these builds, I'll leave links to those videos in the comment section below. With that said, let's talk about today's build, which happens to be an Assault Rifle Armor Regen DPS build. With the right rolls and all of the buffs active, we're looking at 203% critical hit damage, 146% weapon damage, and 60% crit chance. This build's capable of hitting over 500k crits to the body and 630k plus to the head. So this build does more than enough damage to help us rip through legendary NPCs. When it comes to the build survivability, we have a total of 5% armor regen, 1% from the new Bellstorm Armory brand set, another 1% from the Marikami Emperor's Guard knee pads, and finally 3% from the Memento Backpack's long term buff. This build is also a bonus armor stacking build, so with each trophy we pick up, we'll be adding 30% bonus armor to our 1.3 million base armor, so this build's capable of being very tanky. I find when it comes to the legendary builds, you need to find a balance. You need to have enough damage to shred through them, as they are tanky on legendary difficulty, and you need the survivability so that you don't get instantly shredded by their insane damage. Today's build also allows you to have two playstyles, one being the more cover based passive playstyle, where you shoot from afar and if you take damage you rely on the healing from the armor regen. The other is the more aggressive run and gun playstyle where once you build up your damage buffs you can chain kill, gain bonus armor and buffs to your shield to make you tankier. When using this build I recommend playing passive to begin with to build up your buffs and then be more aggressive once you've gained your damage and regen buffs. The specialization and skills used with today's build have a very important role. In order to negate the high damage from the legendary NPCs we need protection from high burst damage. So we are using a crusader shield. This shield is what allows us to be a run and gun build helping us to push up on NPCs. Thanks to the combination of the technician specialization and the buffs we gain from the memento backpack our shield can reach up to 5 million plus health, so we can tank a decent amount of damage. I have been using this build solo in the summit and have found the decoy and striker drone are extremely effective when it comes to distracting NPCs. The last thing you want is to be focus fired by legendary NPCs, because 5 million health shield or not, you're gonna get folded. Before we get into the build breakdown guys, if you haven't already, smash that like button as it really does help us push the channel into the recommended section and in turn it will help us grow. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll reply like I always do. With that said, let's get into the build breakdown. Right guys, getting into the build, starting off with the specialization, we are using the technician specialization, you can use this or the firewall, reason being is because both of these contribute to the tankiness of your shield, they will give you shield health. Now using the technician gives you the one skill tier, which does give you more overall health than if you were to use the firewall, which gives you a actual health mod for your shield, I believe it's like 8%, but you'll get more out of using the technician. Also the technician will contribute to the damage on your drone, as well as the duration and all that good stuff. So now we've covered the specialization, let's get into the build, starting off with our primary weapon which of course is the Chameleon, 81.1k base damage, 900 RPM with 50 in a mag, you guys have seen these stats before, we have the adaptive instant talent hitting 30 headshots, 30 headshots guys, that's less than a mag, that's not hard to get, 30 headshots grants plus 20% critical hit chance and 50% critical hit damage for 45 seconds. Now. I use this in missions, so it's easy to hold these buffs throughout a whole mission because if you clear areas under 45 seconds, you get to keep these buffs. In a summit, that's not always the case, but you'd be surprised how quickly you can clear areas even on legendary. 
So we have hitting 75 body shot squats plus 90% weapon damage for 45 seconds. That's near enough two mags, just less than two mags to get 90% weapon damage. That is a lot of damage, guys, for 45 seconds. And then finally, we have hitting 30 leg shot squats, 150% reload speed for 45 seconds. Looking at the attachments on this weapon, we have 15% critical hit chance on the scope. We have 10% stability on the grip. We have 20% accuracy on the muzzle. And then we have the magazine that gives us the extra 20 rounds. Moving on to my secondary, and it's a SIG MPX SMG, 101k base damage, 850 RPM with 15 a magazine. Not the greatest rolls when it comes to core attributes. The talent we are using is close and personal, killing the target within 7 meters grants plus 30% damage for 10 seconds. When it comes to the attachments on this weapon, 5% crit chance on the scope, 5% crit chance on the laser pointer, 5% crit chance on the suppressor, and we had the magazine giving us the extra 20 rounds. Now moving on to our gear pieces, starting off with our Grupo Sombro Mask, which gives us 15% critical hit damage. We have 15% weapon damage, a max roll on armor regen, 11.4% critical hit damage, and then a mod giving us 11.5% critical hit damage. Now where I've rolled armor regen, you can switch this out for crit chance if you decide to use a different primary weapon, something like an M4 or a Famas with killer or close and personal. You'll need the extra crit chance because we are purposely lacking a bit of crit chance on this build just because the chameleon makes up for it with its adaptive instinct buff giving us the 20% crit chance moving on to our chest piece we have the Fenris chest piece giving us 10% assault rifle damage 11.9% weapon damage 12% critical hit damage 5.8% critical hit chance and then a mod maxed out with 12% critical hit damage the talent we are using is obliterate critical hits increase total weapon damage by 1% for 5 seconds stacks up to 25 times the reason I'm using this talent instead of intimidate is because I want to be doing damage at all ranges I don't want to get too close to legendary npcs because they're probably gonna you know crap on me so it's better that i have damage from all ranges so if i decide to sit far back i can still do a decent amount of damage that's 25 percent weapon damage we're going to be getting so that's pretty nice at range as well moving on to our holster now this is something probably a lot of you haven't seen before this is the improvised holster the reason we are using this is because it gives us the extra mod slot now i could have switched out these two pieces here for the walker and harris so i get five percent weapon damage and five percent armor damage but i couldn't get the rolls that i needed so if you guys want to build this in a different way you can go two pieces of walker harris and still do plenty of damage but i decided to go for the fenris and this improvised holster like i said giving me the extra mod slot moving on to our backpack which is the exotic memento backpack we have 15 percent weapon damage 160k armor one skill tier and 11.5 percent crit rate damage via a mod now when it comes to the short term buff we get an extra 20 percent weapon damage because of the amount reds we have we gain 30 percent bonus armor because we had the three blues we get five percent skill efficiency now the long-term buff is very important we'll get 30 percent weapon damage 30 percent skill efficiency and three percent armor regen the armor regen is important to this build because it makes up for the five percent we have in total as you can see here we gain another one percent from the bellstorm armory brand set which has 169k armor 12 percent critical hit damage and then a max roll on the armor regen again don't forget you can roll that armor regen off for critical hit chance if you're using a different ar Moving on to the knee pads, we have the Emperor's Guard knee pads. I got these from the DZ vendor, so it's for sale right now, guys. So head over and grab that before it switches out if you haven't got them already. I would say a god roll for these knee pads would be obviously the armor roll I've put on there. But when it comes to the hazard protection, we want to get rid of that and put some crit damage. So on this build currently, we're missing out on 12% crit damage, which isn't too much of a bad thing because we're still hitting for 500k crits, which is more than enough damage to melt through these legendary NPCs. So looking at our shield, you can see we have 5.1 million health. The reason that is 5.1 million right now is because I do have the long-term buff active because I wanted to show you the full potential of what the shield would have. So 5 million health is going to take a lot of the damage from the legendary npcs it's very important we have a tanky shield moving on to the striker drone we have an 18.5 second cooldown the health is 1.6 million so that gets a buff as well because of the um, long-term buff of the memento backpack duration is 318 seconds so that's lengthened as well and we do more damage the base damage is 26k so that jumps up to 32k when you have the full long-term buff active so that's pretty much it guys this is the build let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. My first legendary build I'm putting out for you guys for the summit. Don't forget to smash that like button to support the channel and help us grow. Because the more likes we get, the more we get pushed into the recommended section. If you're new around here, hit that sub button to join the mod squad for lots more Division 2 content. I'm going to leave you guys with a stat sheet. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, mod squad.
got me tagged. Come <laughs> on. 